Welcome back guys. I wanted to get out of the house, get out of the camper, go out and just do a little walking around, do another video where I just check things out. I really enjoy these ones. They're a lot of fun for me. And if you see behind me, there's very recently been one of these big uh, old warehouses or buildings or whatever it was torn down. I just noticed this the other day. I really do like old abandoned places. I like the old builds. So anyways, let's just uh, go around and just explore and appreciate the buildings and the architecture and the, the history in some of this and the beauty in it you know the beauty and the beauty in the abandoned so disclaimer before we really get started on anything today um, I'm not the guy that's going to be trespassing I'm not gonna be sneaking into this building so you're not gonna see any of that in this video um, I'll always stay on public property with these I'll you know I've done the shopping centers, okay, I was in the parking lot or whatever, but I'm not gonna go into the place, nothing like that. You ever wonder why they put these uh, fences up or not? I'm just noticing all the loose bricks at the very top up here. Uh, obviously they're tearing down a building, I mean, that's exactly what happens, and that's why they barricade off the area, but just looking at how precarious a few of those are is pretty interesting to me. It's interesting that the arches and the of this corner behind this tree you guys can see that that's still there i'm sure it'll come down i'm sure all of that will come down i also was looking at that green door back there i think that swung out that probably was an exterior back door made of wood obviously not much left pretty interesting i bet it looked pretty interesting when it was there and then look down in that hole if you see that hallway or doorway that would have been in the basement of this place that's pretty cool never gotten this close and really looked at a you know a site where they're tearing down like this it's real interesting to see the remnants of what was there and then of course this building next door i'm assuming is going to remain because it still has for sale signs I always like seeing the old paint jobs and whatnot on stuff as well. The old signage is painted on the walls of the building and whatnot. Of course, this one is completely barricaded off. I have no idea what it ever was. I have no idea what the inside looks like. I bet you that's lead paint on everything. But I do love seeing these old buildings. I love when places restore them or make them a flea market or whatnot. We've done some flea market videos. They're very cool. I know movies still have them, and I don't live in a large city. Are fire escapes still a pretty common and regular thing in large cities? Obviously, they still exist. They didn't just remove all of them. But let's say you have a newer uh, four-story apartment building. Is it going to have a fire escape on it? Is it going to be more safely built than these rickety ones um i feel like the safety measures of today's world are are different than they once were you know so i'm just curious how they deal with that because obviously i'm sure they probably also want you to have a safe way to get out i also noticed this good sign it's barely still there but it says goods there and at the very top that looks like that says goods Furniture warehouse. Oh, it does. I could barely read it. So now we know what it was. It was a goods furniture warehouse. I don't know if goods is a company that you guys are familiar with. I've definitely heard of it. I know about it. Uh, I'm going to get my steps in today, guys. Just walking around the downtown area. I also have like this old water tower off in the distance there over yonder. I've liked that for years. I've actually snapped a couple pictures here and there of it well actually just one let's be honest one time i snapped a picture of it is anybody catching this video that's like me i i don't know why i just love the it's not just a decatur thing it's a all over the country thing you go to st louis there's tons of abandoned buildings it's all over but i really got an affinity for them i got they, they something special about them for me who else does i know they're i'm not the only one and why can you put your finger on it I think I always like the imagination of, of restoring it, but I also appreciate the decay. Um, 
a YouTuber I watch, Adam the Woo, I think also likes him. He does videos of this type of stuff occasionally. And he once, I remember a video has saying, he said, beauty in decay. And I'm like, man, that's, I get it. I get that phrase. I understand it. I noticed that very top up there. I've never seen that before. I mean, obviously that's a, um, I don't even know what you call those, like an air vent coming in, but you know, you see different ones that spin and stuff on old barns or roofs or whatever for garages, but that one's just a little different and it is moving, catching wind and bringing fresh air into the building. This building says PM Howard. There's a cool sign right here. Here's a closer look at that water tower. Just show for a minute, Garver feeds here. Uh, I used to get some medicine for my dog at this place. It's, uh, it's definitely an older feed store. It's uh, got, you know, all kinds of pet stuff, li livestock. If you got farm animals, I'm sure you might want to come here for stuff, but just, I really appreciate this place. It reminds me of that, you know, it reminds me of like the old true value or something from the early 90s uh just your local hardware store type of feel so i'm making my way down to just look at uh man i just had like the lyrics right there for that song didn't i you know what song it was anyways i'm getting ready to head over here just to walk around this old i think it's a a butternut or butter beet whatever it is butter bread place an old bread factory or warehouse but i saw this traffic signal controller box I've never seen one of these. It definitely looks older to me. It might not be, it might be still operational. I thought it was, it looks old. It was interesting. I'm like, well, I'll show that for just a moment there. So I wonder if those are pretty common. Now we know, don't we? All right, so this is where I was coming to. This is an old warehouse. This is an old warehouse. Interstate receiving dock, butternut. That's what I was trying to think of. Wonder if they made bread here or if they brought it here and then shipped it out. Can't read what that sign says, but all well I could if I got up to it. All deliveries are to be so, you know, whatever. It's a delivery sign. It's always interesting to me when these places do close down and they leave like uh, the handmade sign in the window and that like they just left some things get left behind. Some don't. Primo parking for the plant manager. I don't know if I'd want to park right here. You're right on a, this is a pretty busy corner of town. Um, but you're right by the front entrance, so that's kind of neat. That's why I knew it was a butternut bread place. I always see that sign when I drive down this road. Felt like it's kind of a cool uh, angle. I'm just seeing that church that's rising up above some of the other buildings in the area very interesting and here we come upon yet one of the other reasons I really wanted to get out today this has been like this for a couple weeks now but when I saw that they were tearing this building down as well it's just interesting to me and I was like yeah let's get a sh get a little bit of video of that let's let's go record it and just see you know I've never even really noticed this uh, warehouse over here but it's obviously been abandoned for a long time as well. I mean, I really feel like I could just go on for, you know, I've done a big circle, but I could just go on for blocks and blocks of finding these old abandoned places. And now, unfortunately, as of just like a year ago, this Prairie Farms factory was added to the list. This place was an active Prairie Farms plant or whatever you want to call it, factory, warehouse, not warehouse, they actually made ice cream there. I don't know about the milk, but um, it just recently closed down as well. So I think there's still an active business in both of these buildings, but just like the curved walls of that farther one down the road. Wanted to give that a quick point out. And then I was just thinking to myself, you can see why this had to come down. Now I'm sure when you start tearing a building down and the structure it isn't helping hold itself, each other molded together, that it starts to come down, but like, if you just look at that roof up there, man, that's coming in. That brick is falling. 
I'm sure more of this is coming off. I'm sure that's not where they're stopping. I wonder if the whole thing will come down or if they're going to stop there or, you know, a little farther down. But isn't it just interesting when you see these teardowns and, like, you see a doorway to nothing? That was second floor, office over there, whatever it was. Had some old, old wooden cabinets up in there. And then you come into the this building that no longer exists. Obviously, that's the, I'm guessing, I shouldn't say obviously, that's an elevator shaft that definitely looks like cables for a lift of some sort. And you can see that brick. I just don't trust that whole tower. Very interesting stuff to me. Very interesting. old office chairs see how much that wall is bowing out as well with the weight this place was actually still open a few years ago uh, I just like that old sign, I mean, and then the Brunswick on the side, which on the semi-trailer, that's interesting, like, I guess that that's probably not moved in a long, long time, because I can't imagine that was going down the road with that stuff on there, so maybe they just use it as additional storage. I just found it mildly interesting, I was, I was walking by and this um, awning, this sh wood shake awning is rotting and in really rough shape, and, you know, and then I kind of... Just interesting to look at the architecture sometimes. That's just a facade. That whole thing can come off and, you know, flat brick wall, just like the rest of the building. Uh, just interesting to me. That's all. And if you watch all of my videos, you might start to recognize some of this because we've still not done a video in there but there's the firehouse flea market which means that just down the road here we've been before with the nft the never forgotten times flea market and the wabash depot antique mall give a brief shout out to redmond's antique or redmond's furniture it's an antique used furniture store cool little place i'm not gonna go in there today because that's not really the theme of today's video i have bought in a pretty decent cast iron skillet from there just figured i'd give them a moment but i am gonna walk to the front of this building hey we're coming from the back side just because it's where we were walking from so i guess we saw the back door that was super exciting wasn't it this was oh approximately up to two years ago this was a uh, vinyl record store. It's pretty, you know, pretty cool. Had some character to it. Uh, there are fewer and fewer nowadays. I was in there, checked them out. I don't remember if I bought anything or not. I don't think I did. GBs, CDs and DVDs. So, I mean, that's what they advertise, but it definitely was had a lot of vinyl in there. And a little bit of you know, the, 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 the historical timing is changing, but this has got that little tile entryway and these windows. This is, we're probably moving from those warehouses, which are probably more 50s and older, to probably like more of a 70s. I don't know exactly when this was built, but it definitely starts to remind me more of the 70s and whatnot. And not a lot to see in there i mean drywall's busted out looks like there was some paint on the brick up top interesting little flask right there in the window it actually looks pretty rough for only being closed a couple years 
And as you can tell, we're on a much busier road now. And there's that church again. I'm and so now, and this window is plexiglassed. Oh, I guess we can see in this spot here. More furniture. It's interesting how many of these old, old buildings are just full, stacked and crammed full of old furniture. How much old furniture is crammed in an old abandoned, uh, not, we'll call it an abandoned building, old abandoned buildings in this country. Just sitting for years, probably nobody, nobody's been inside this area. I would say that maybe they have come in that front door, but you know, some of these things, this chair, has it been sitting in that exact spot for 10 years now without anybody touching it? I don't know. How much stuff in this country is like that? Slozenger. I want to go golfing. That just made me want to go golfing now. And we are again on a very busy road here in town and as you just drive on by, I've never walked the sidewalk, but I have seen these old vending machines sitting in this window for years. It's always interesting to me. It'll be something fun to have and restore. Absolutely, no, absolutely nothing about. And look at that. Look at the uh, logos of the soda there, the Sprite. I don't know if you guys can see that, the Sprite. Almost, it's got that star, like the old Vegas. Mr. Pib. And please do not use Canadian coins. I could get a Pepsi for 40 cents. There's another big sign in there in the old typewriter. Interesting stuff. This is why I like walking around these areas, guys. Just there's an old Coke machine. There's a Pepsi. I wonder if uh, just whoever owns this building likes soda machines. If they like, you know, the old Coca-Cola and Pepsi RC stuff or what. Or if it was actually like a business that had some kind of tie-in with all that. It's interesting that these windows are boarded up and... They actually, somebody took the time to put these uh, this trim on here just to make it look a little bit nicer. I also wonder, we see the ground level. I wonder what's going on upstairs. If anybody lives up there, if it's just as much a mess, if it's just all about storage. Curious. These corner entrances too are also kind of neat. As you guys see, there's a couple more on the backdrop there. Just um, old, you know, yesteryear buildings that don't seem to be fully operational anymore. And I just, I enjoy coming down here and just seeing some of this stuff. It's, it's you know, history. That's what it is. So that's going to do it for today. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I'm headed back to my car. That was going to do it, but I just turned and I saw these old fire trucks. I had no idea they were back here. I got to go get a closer look. Go up to the alley here and just look through the fence. That car hauler is also pretty interesting too. I guess it's just like a one or two car. I don't know. I've never seen one quite like that. Not that I'm an expert on them by any means. All right, come on City of Decatur. You want some help? I don't have any money for you, but let's uh, get these let's get these fire trucks inside. Let's get them indoors and let's uh, restore them. And I don't know. There's a children's museum in Decatur that's amazing. Maybe we could put them in there, but we got enough empty buildings. I think we've been showing them today. I've only gone about 10 block radius. We've got empty buildings. Let's get them in there. Let's make a building. Let's restore a building and let's uh, start some kind of city museum or something, you know? And not city museum as in like the St. Louis City Museum. I mean, that place is amazing. Like a City of Decatur historical museum. And we can start with these fire trucks right here. Let's